Hey YouTube, Everything Apple Pro here, and Snowbreeze 2.1 has just been released, which supports the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS old and new boot ROMs, the iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 4th, 3rd, 2nd, MC and non-MC models, and the iPad on 3.2.2, and the Apple TV on 4.1. Now, you may be wondering, how is Snowbreeze different than Lime Rain or Green Poison, or what will it do for me? Um, it will unlock your iPhone. If you have been waiting for an unlock and you've been sticking with 4.0 or 4.0.1 and you haven't updated, so your baseband is still at 5.13.04 or 5.12.01 and you've been wanting to update to the new 4.1 firmware, uh, Snowbreeze will allow you to update while preserving your baseband, meaning that you won't lose your unlock. You'll be able to just go into Cydia and install Ultra Snow and get your unlock. And what else it allows you to do that no jailbreak offers is right on your iPhone, you can change your boot logos for the iPod 2nd gen, iPhone 3rd gen, and the 3GS. And you can, SS, you can install SSH so you don't have to open up Cydia and install it separately. And, of course, you will need your device. It does not have to be jailbroken. Um, if you are on an iPhone that is on a newer firmware, like 4.0.2 or 4.1, uh, you will not be able to update using this because you have already updated your baseband. But if you're on 4.1 firmware, that's all right because you will still be able to jailbreak it. See, I'm on an iPad Touch 4th Gen 4.1 firmware. Now, in my description, I have two links for you guys. One of them is for IHateSnow.com, which is where you'll be downloading Snowbreeze right here, and Felix Bruns, which is basically a firmware download where you get, you'll get your 4.1 firmware for your device. Once you've got those things downloaded, I would recommend that you drag them out on your desktop and go ahead and run Snowbreeze. Okay, once it's opened up, i just click past this, past the credits, and click the little blue arrow, and you're going to be finding your 4.1 firmware for your device. Now I'm on an iPod, and that's on my desktop, so open that up and it'll identify it and also I make sure you have your iPod or iPhone connected via USB so okay so once that's done click the little blue arrow and click expert mode and general and this is where you can select anything that's not on your iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G. Let's say the wallpaper, which isn't included, or the battery percentage, or even multitasking, which I would not recommend updating or clicking on because it will slow down your iPod. And right here, you can install SSH, so you don't have to do it in Cydia. And you can activate your iPhone if you are not using a legit SIM card. So if you're not on AT&T and you're using T-Mobile, then you'll need to click this. Um, if, you, if you're using AT&T and you click this, it will mess up your iPhone, so make sure it's not clicked. Um, root partition, I uh, just leave it as it is, and go ahead and click Next, and Next. You can put uh, sources in here if you want, but I do that on my Cydia. And once that's done, you've got everything selected. You can make a custom boot logo for your iPhone 3G, 3GS, or iPod Touch 2nd Gen, and I'm not going to be doing that right now, but... I'm going to click on Build IPSW and Next, and it'll take a while, so I'll be right back. While this is loading, I just want to let you guys know that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be restoring using the custom firmware that this builds, and you will need iTunes for this, so I'll have a link in my description. Okay, so once it has finished, you will just click OK, and we're going to be jumping right into putting your device into DFU mode. So. A lot of people will have trouble with this. I'll put a link about right here for a detailed guide on my DFU mode, but go ahead and click OK and power off your device. Okay, so now go ahead and click Start right here, and we're holding the home and power together for 10 seconds. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three two one let go of the power button and hold the home button if you want you can follow the on-screen directions um, just keep holding the home button and there you go it has recognized it it is making sure your device is in a state where you can jailbreak it so alright so it is okay go ahead and click close here and 
close up snow breeze and your iTunes will tell you that it is in recovery mode and that's okay what we will need to do is on your keyboard hold shift and left click restore and then go to your desktop and you will find the custom IPSW that was built there and select that now go ahead and click OK and restore and you'll notice that your device will begin to restore and it will take a little bit so again I will be right back when you see this on your device that means it's working great it will finish and it's just a good sign to see a little snowflake uh, it's the IPSW that's restoring your device so I'll be right back and once your device boots up from the restore mode you can go ahead and breathe a sigh of relief and you'll notice that you have Cydia on your device and from here you will need to install Ultra Snow if you want to unlock I'll have a post a link to my unlock video right there but thanks a lot you guys that's how you jailbreak your device and if you're on an iPhone how to unlock it so thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe to my channel